Now, uh, you're here at the Children and Families Emmys Awards. Obviously, typically at Walt Disney Animation Studios, you're, you're producing content that didn't historically go to uh, direct-to-streaming or direct-to-TV. Uh, so this is probably a, an unlikely um, thing that you were looking forward to in your careers. Uh, how big of a surprise was this getting an Emmy nomination? What is this guy? <laughs> well, I mean, surprising. I mean, you know, there's so much going on in streaming, so many shows. Is, I think I think you kind of feel like, boy, I, I must have just got lost in the mix, you know, because it, you know, it happened a while ago. Um, and to see it kind of like come back and be, you know, revered and, and respected and... and it's just, it's, it is really surprising, I have yeah, to say. When surprise. they said it, I was like, I thought we were in the past, and <laughs> we're not. We're yeah. here, and uh, I'm glad, because uh, these two, as editors, uh, along with the whole crew, work so hard on it, and we love working on it, and we're so proud of it in the end. Yeah. So, yeah. it's just, it's It fabulous. definitely was a highlight for us, I know, right? We, oh, had, we, was, had, a great, we yeah. had a great time. Really proud uh, of the project, yeah. and, and just a delightful show. Characters were fun. So fun. The, the, the genius behind it was fun. Uh, it was a fun group of people and uh, to, to be a part of something like that was pretty amazing. I think we all kind of just chuckled and we, we were just happy. I don't know. I, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's just, it's such a great feeling to be honored for doing something you love to do with people you love to do it with. And I, I think the world needs a lot more Baymax because, you know, he, he is a compassionate and logical, but he leads logic through compassion, and that's where we need to be in this world. Absolutely. Now, speaking of more Baymax, any chance that we could get more Baymax exclamation point? <laughs> Never can tell. <laughs> well, it, 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 it could happen. Yeah, for editors on a Disney animated film, it's you know four years. Oh, yeah. What's the timeline like on a, a series of shorts when you've got six shorts? Are you like doing it a little bit here and there and working on other things yeah, in between? Yeah, you know, yeah, we are. We're always. I mean, we're always busy. Uh, yeah. our, our, <laughs> our our main person, uh, Bernice Robinson, always keeps us busy. But yeah, we always say it, it is a. We always call them films, no matter how big or small they are. They're just condensed, right? And um, they're they're. I think it took us what like a. Maybe a year? Maybe a year. Yeah. Maybe right a year, that. this one. Yeah. And uh, I think there was a lot, because it was the first one, right? Yeah. To go out on Disney Plus. So yep. Yeah, we there was broke a, ground. We broke yeah, ground yeah, with this one for, for Disney Animation. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of good pressure to get this one out and awesome. make it successful, which <laughs> yeah. I feel like it did. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 We, we did pretty and we good. <laughs> and we treated it just like we treat our movies. It was the same love, the yeah. same commitment, the same like really like deep thinking, and it was just... Yeah. We love how it came out. When you were when you were kids, was there anything uh, that really inspired you to go into this field that that made you want to be a part of producing content for a new generation? Excellent. <laughs> you guys go. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, obviously, when you're a kid, I, I I fell in love with that's where I fell in love with animation, and that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. At no point <laughs> did I ever imagine I would be standing on a red carpet at the Emmys or anything like that because it's just really about you know doing the, the love of the thing and all this is just wonderful gravy right I, I grew up every Sunday watching Walt Disney on the wonderful world of color and I have to say that was a huge influence on my life and you know I've been with the company 30 years now and it's been a great adventure and I, I fell in love with movies very young and then I saw the Little Mermaid and I watched it over and over and over again because it hit on all levels, and I said I really want to do that. Same, I wore out my Classics Collection VHS tape. <laughs> Dude, I had to get it again when it came out on Masterpiece because my, my old tape wouldn't work anymore. Yeah. Um, so uh, congratulations again on all the success. I'm rooting for you guys and hope you take home even more gold since you already are winners. Can't wait. Thank you so much.